Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to our tutorial series. It's Dwitz and today we're gonna do a little tutorial about early on science. Today we're gonna talk about the red and green science, the automation and the logistics science. We'll start with the automation science of course because it's the first one. So actually you will need, you can actually of course use yellow inserters for the beginning and you will only need one input so that should be fairly simple here and of course we will need some power poles let's use the small electric poles for the beginning and then just to hook that up ah, we'll do that in a second so actually now that's two of them we want to produce as you've read in the title two per second so we have a, a crafting time of five seconds and the crafting speed is 0 0.75 so that means we will have to use around uh, 14 of these so let's copy this and let's paste it six more times. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's 14 in total. And uh, no, that's 16. I messed that up. I'm sorry about that. There you go. And then, of course, you can trim these. And actually, we will now have a look on what we'll need for the inputs. We will actually need uh, not a lot of copper but some. So let's get that on here and let's do the gears on this side. Actually we can, I think at least, we can do something like maybe this. And then we will simply have this one here, this one here. We can get rid of these. And here I would suggest using blue inserters just because it's a little bit quicker. And there we go. Now we simply have to tell them to produce gears. And that's it. And then we can go ahead and think about the next science pack. And this, so actually, let's wait a second, one more thing. Let's get some constant combinators. Uh, that's a logistic chest. Some constant combinators here and there. That's gonna be iron. And that's gonna be copper. Very nice. So now let's go for the logistics science pack. Let us simply set up a small example right here. And then we will need six seconds to produce those. So actually we will need 16 machines. Exactly 16 machines. Actually I can't... Yes, now I can copy. Thanks. Okay. So it's going to be two more. So that should be fine. And now we shall, of course, produce the inserters and the transport belts. So let us think about the inserters first. Of course, we will need more than one machine to do this. So let's simply, maybe we can squeeze them here. We'll see in a second. Then we could do this and this and put the other two over there. And then this can be the input. Maybe we should go for blue inserters here as well. Uh, let's check if we do the insert us here what else do we need we will also need these and then we can maybe do something like this 
and of course like this and we will need a belt up there as well that is of course gonna be iron up there iron down here sorry for my cats rumbling in the background and then we will of course do transport belt here and I guess we'll need another two of those yeah let's actually do that like this and let's do it like this okay and then we have a separate input there and then we should be able to get all the iron we need from one belt am i right yes i think that should fit all on one belt so let's not worry about that let's simply grab this and maybe put it a little further up then we can simply connect these two over here then we will of course need some more iron here and there so we can simply do uh, we should be able to do this and then we can simply do this because we will need some green circuits on there as well so that's green circuits that's iron and then we will have another one of these iron thingies right over there and finally over here we can simply put a splitter move this to that side then of course we will need to hook all of this up and then finally we can copy all of it over and it should be powered as soon as I place this one yes it is very nice let's take these two move them a little further down and then of course we will as well do this and then we can of course put iron plates in here and green circuits in here and that should be it very nice that should be working fine of course we will need this power pole here yes that's it i really hope you liked this episode if you did then please leave a like a comment and subscribe and of course see you guys next time in the next episode of factorio tutorials with twist Next time we're up to the third and fourth science pack, the military and the chemical science pack. See you guys then, have a good one and stay safe. Bye!